Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Railroads Today's Beverages. That is a green escape smoothie, which I believe is apple, cucumber and kiwi. An interesting combination, but very tasty indeed, and sort of related to the challenge that we will be attempting here. So, in the previous video of Railroads, we were once again attempting a challenge, and it was the No Bridges, No Tunnels challenge, and we did it on Germany because it was one of the less limiting maps, because some of them you pretty much don't have any chance at all, and it was successful, although an interesting, an interesting challenge to say the least, because we had to obviously route round places, and because of the contours of the map it did make some things if not very difficult some of it was just impossible and we couldn't go places but we did manage to win that one which was successful and in this video we want to attempt another challenge and as I said it is related to the beverage it is green it is 100% electric so go green go electric we want to make a railroad company that only uses electric locomotives no steam no diesel none of that sort of thing let's go to single player here and we're gonna I was gonna say cycle through the maps but we're actually on to the map that we want to play on which is Germany. Now there are four nations locomotives in the game. Great Britain, France, Germany and American. Now this is, all, you can check all this out in the manual but from memory Great Britain has one which is in 1906. America has one electric locomotive which is in, I actually don't know. Uh, with France which has two electric locomotives but Germany has the most with three and most, most importantly it is in 1920 the first electric locomotive in Germany and you can actually start in 1921 which means that we can pretty much have a brand new electric locomotive and go on this map. Also I believe the last locomotive is in the 1970s very close to the end year of the game so we'll have to see how that one goes. Either way starting difficulty is all default all of the AI players is up to three not randomizing the locations or the city and that should be okay. So we'll load this up and see where we are and also where our opponents are so let's pause the game for a moment so we're in Munich and we can see we've got Nuremberg up there we should have Frankfurt here which also has our oh there's Helmuth uh, von Moltk and we'll have a quick look around further south Liechtenstein we've got uh, Bozen over there and yeah there's no one around here Vienna Weiss Prague Dresden, we have Saint Nicholas II and Bismarck, our nemesis, in Leipzig. So, and then should be Berlin up here. Yeah, okay. So, we're actually the southernmost place, I think. Uh, yeah, we are the southernmost. Uh, southernmost location we have a car company in munich an automobile factory but obviously we have no steel steel we will have to get from where is the best place for steel let's click on the automobile factory if i can find it in the sprawling mess there it is and actually the nuremberg actually demands coal which will then oh i think it's ore actually and then it'll take that ore and from here okay so it is possible to get that ore but i think what we'll do because we do have passengers and so does this place here is we'll unpause that we will make a track that goes from here to here and we'll probably reduce the size of that because quite frankly i don't really want to be uh, why is that doing that? Let me go back to normal here and over to that and then run it through like that. That's perfect. And obviously place that in there. And then we'll have a standard line going from there. One, two, three passengers, two mil, back and forward. However, I don't know. Ah, it is actually selecting the right locomotive. So let's have a quick go back through the ages all the way to the start. So the 222 Adler, the 222 Buth, the 240 uh, Medoc, the 440 Class S3 the p sorry the 460p8 the 442 de glen atlantic and then finally the ge6-6 crocodile made by swiss federal in 1920 and it is a preferred cargo mixed maximum speed 40 so compared to the steam train uh, it's only 10 years prior to it you can see the preferred is passenger but it goes 80 <laughs> maximum speed is 80 miles an hour and it will do that with four cars looks to be probably 60 miles an hour with five cars what this thing yeah we can go for well i guess five cars we will be easily doing 
by the look of it. Um, actually, it doesn't even—it's not even affected by passages in milk. If you don't know if you can see that, I think milk slightly goes down a little bit. But yeah, we can easily just add another couple on, and it won't even slow this thing down. So we might as well do that. We're not going to wait until full, and we will say accept. And there is our first train on the go. So where else can we head to? Well, we've got, as I said, this this factory here for. Uh, oh, what we'll do, we'll go over to Prague actually, we'll do a uh, a bit of a cheeky double track, it's always cheeky, and then we'll head up, like I say, across the river, actually to the riverbed, uh, or to the river's edge should I say, expand all these up and then start to sell some of our stock because we are out of that one, and then we'll go across the river and then through Prague, but I probably want to curve this just a slight bit and we'll say there and once again place that in and then go from there one two three four one two three back to there same thing again and it is the right locomotive i'm going to point out now that almost certainly i will end up messing up the the <laughs> the locos and end up putting a new steam on there but i'm going to obviously attempt to uh keep an eye on that one and you can see there's our electric loco obviously in other games maybe not obviously but <laughs> in other games it can be quite difficult to electrify the line whereas this game it, it's not concerned with you know the micromanagement of having to electrify the lines and such and you don't have to put overhead power cables and worry about all of that it just places and works okay so from here we're going to once again double track and actually we'll sell some stock first and we'll double track from there and then we'll go down to vienna although that is a steep downhill and then straight across we'll once again sell some more shares there and we can then place in from vienna or from there at one two three four one two three to there and then back and once again passengers and mail that's all we're doing at the moment passengers and mail we could attempt to connect this up here, so ice over to Prague. It is possible, but I don't know if it's if it's um, of some benefit at this stage. But I do want to sell some more shares, sadly, because I don't. I'm actually running out of funds. But we're going to go over to the Prague Swine Pens Limited, and obviously we'll say there. Fill up on swine. Close that. Go there. Clear the car. And then OK, and that is going to transfer that. Now we're going to sell the last remaining stock, which is a very risky manoeuvre. And oh, I was going to say I'm going to start the stockyard here, and I want to see if I can I see if I can buy this out. But we don't even have enough money to start the bidding. And what will probably happen if I get it wrong, if someone else comes in bids, is we'll end up losing it. I'm going to risk it. Now this is extremely risky. I shouldn't be attempting this. But no guts no glory. Mayor of Nuremberg solicits a railway with coal, so we might do that actually. And there's some good money. And now that this is going to yeah do this, what might happen is oh there we go. There is a new loco, the four six two class zero one. And we have got that. Okay, so we have got that. That is excellent. That's what we want. Right from here, then similar sort of deal. We will do another double track like that and then from this location we want to just sort of come down and then into here with no grid actually and we'll place that there and we'll say from those pig pens which is the vice park company go there go back clear the car but most importantly change this back to lecky and there we go and we will buy out that stockyard study links beer drinking and brutish behavior mm, fair enough so we're going to start to bid on this stockyard and there is Helmuth putting a cheeky bid in so we'll uh, obviously counter bid that one. Hundred and, oh, he's put a 50 grand bid in on that one and he's going to keep doing it by the look of it. Luckily I do have some good funds now, sort of ironically because of the other stockyard which is probably why they're bidding and good grief I'm going to pay over the odds here. It should work out in the long term but... There we go, that should be a win here. And just that there was a quarter of a million. However, as you can see, oh, over a quarter of a million, nearly 300,000. We are already making uh, really good money with it anyway. Now the problem that we have is that both this and this, they both demand food, 
but they're not actually transporting uh, food just yet because they are, well, they are creating it, they're not transporting it. What I'm going to do is make sure that we've changed these over to terminals on each one because that gives us unload, car sp uh, unload speed in increase as well as some extra bonuses for passengers and mail revenue and obviously we are heavily reliant on that at the moment let me just put up to a higher speed there i also desperately want to buy some more of my stock in terms of size of our size of our company we are actually the most profitable so far but that could very easily change if we stagnate but I also do want to keep buying out our stock here. Just closing to... There's over 100,000 Deutschmarks. Yeah, that's fine. Just waiting for this car to come in. As soon as that comes in, we'll be in the money. There it is. So there's one bit of stock. Second bit of stock. So that's three that we are now on. And that's okay for now. So this is... That's got food and this has got food. And what we're going to do is be bit cheeky actually I'll be honest we're gonna do that and we're going to do that uh, no actually we don't need to do that we want to double track from here along which you can double track the bridge it does work only once I don't think you can go for another one but we're gonna do that and the reason for that is we want to connect this location up and possibly that location and then we want to go from here and we'll say food wait until full go there Wait until full. Change the loco and OK. Now that might seem a bit redundant. Like what's happening? Oh, patent auction. Pullman's Palace car patent. 25% passenger delivery bonus. We're going to bid on that. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to win that comfortably. Now you can see here what's happened is we are transporting food from Prague down to Vice. And it's they're both producing food, but they're both demanded. But that's not that doesn't really that's not of our concern. Our concern is transportation. That's all we're concerned about. And we're transporting it from one place to another. We've uh, got a new speed record there, 36 miles an hour near the Berlin crossing. To be fair, the max speed of that loco is 40 anyway, so that's pretty good. Right, back over to Munich, which is where we started there, and I really want to trans I really want to transfer some. I want to get some iron from this, from one of these, uh, the ore, I think, from the coal place. And the nearest is miles away. Okay, this one is the closest, but it's going to require a bit of routing. We can do that. So, from Munich. This is going to be a massive feat of engineering, this. See that? So we've come from Munich across to Nuremberg, like so. From Nuremberg, we're going to go up and around past Prague onto this side, changing the grid here. It's actually saying it's going to go underneath, but that's all kinds of bad. Uh, over to here. It's a gentle uphill, but I don't think it will be. No grid if we get to there. Is it going to go right underneath? It is going to go right underneath. But we need to be here. So what I'll do, I'll go from there, up to there, through, moderate downhill, but, bit of another, another tunnel. There we go. We're fortunate enough to be able to afford that. Max out on the R, wait until full, go there, Clear the cars. Change the loco. Okay. So we're now carrying on from there all the way to Nuremberg. We're going to buy out that steel mill. And we'll see if anyone wants to put some bids in. Just doing a bit of double tracking here. Because we want to have a train going from Nuremberg with the R down to Munich. And then probably Munich over to... I'm not sure, actually. Oh, doesn't matter. I thought of a better way of doing it. I was going to say we need a train to transfer the... Oh! Okay. The 1D01 Class E18. Cool. Let's check that out in a moment. 
and that was passenger, I believe it said, the preferred one. But was that a diesel or was that electric? I didn't notice. It wasn't steam. So, mail demand increased as love letters float towards the capital. Good. So we're going to go over to our train list here. And we're going to say upgrade. That's electric. Yep. That is electric. You can see because of the pickups there. All right. And this is saying passenger. But for mail, well, it's, it is faster. 100 miles an hour. And it can do 100 <laughs> with five cars of mail. Probably 90 with eight cars, uh, with six cars of mail, going down to about 60 with when it's full. So any any engine that we have, to be fair, it's just better, isn't it? Prefers passenger, but the curve is such that I think it's just better. It's just better. There might be slight changes in it slight alterations but quite frankly there we go spent a lot of money on upgrading all of these whoa they look like they'll be really quick there but actually no they've just been upgraded and it was on max speed and there's our electric yeah there we go new speed record careering down that bank and around the corner there uh, 45 miles an hour all right cool so as i mentioned we've taken the ore from that Location on the far right, which is the Vienna Minerals Company. There's a 56 miles an hour near the Munich Terminal, screeching around the corner. Uh, and we're going to Nuremberg, and we should be doing that mission now. That's going to turn that into... Hmm, this is a problem. Yeah, that is a problem. Okay, we have... Somewhat of an issue. See... We need to bring... Oh, do we need to bring it to Prague? Possibly not. We need to take the... The ore's been taken to Nuremberg. From there, that will produce steel. The steel we need to bring to Munich, which will then produce cars. The cars then need to go to pro probably Prague, or actually can go here as well. So, what I'm going to do is... I think take it to... There. So from this location... Can we do that? No, but what we can do is from here, from that side, double track all the way to there. Not ideal, but whenever, when is it ever? And that's just not going to go. It did go. Close. And we'll do that. And we'll do that. Because we want a train filling up on ore, wait until full, go there, clear the cars, fill it up with cars. Actually, no, do we need to wait until full? I don't think we do. Then clear and close. Let's do that. So we're taking ore from Nuremberg over to Munich, then to Prague. And that's it. Uh, why can't we confirm the route? Is it possible? Hmm, hang on. I've got the connections wrong. No, that, that line definitely goes there. Unless we need to do that. That might help. That's definitely got a station. Yeah, let's try that again then. By train there fill it with ore close go there fill it with cars go there clear and then back to nuremberg what am i doing wrong is it because it's not in a loop I mean, we could do this and that is definitely in a loop now um, station, then a terminal. Fill it up. Fill it up. Go there. Clear. Yeah. Ah, oh, what would also have worked out if I did this? That. 
would have also worked. Okay. And we've been rewarded. 100,000 Deutschmarks for bringing the art to Nuremberg. Good. Well, to be fair, we are now also going to make some cars. And I've just realised I've got over a million. So I'm going to start buying my stock. Because, well, we want to do that. You can see that everybody else has pretty much sold the majority of their stock. Bismarck owns nothing, so I'm going to start buying theirs out. Uh, Nicholas and Helmuth also similar. And just as I do that and spend all my money, one of the best things in the game pops up. Increase freight pu pulling power for all trains. We are going to, if we need to, sell stock to get this, because this is brilliant. Uh, this, along with the sander for inclines and the half maintenance cost on all trains... Is it half or it's at least reduced maintenance cost is just a brilliant a brilliant thing to get in fact looking at it not many are trying to bid on it so I'm going to keep placing my bids on it um, you can see I'm also buying out people's stock while we do this because we do have the cash <laughs> and I'm buying out all of Bismarck by the look of it or at least close to and there is our patent there okay so we're, tr we're transferring all making cars we've got food on the go that is all right so as before do not stagnate continue moving so from Vienna here which uh, we've not done much with we are going to extend that down to Klagenfurt and straight through that over to the mill and lumber here uh, mayor of Shenzhen said that so this is railway okay i don't know where that is but quite frankly it got our hands full already so there and there and i think we might be a bit cheeky later on so we're going to say all of this wood we will take to there and then we will clear it and it is the right loco and we will now buy out that paper mill and with this paper mill, obviously it produces paper. What requires paper, you understand? Well, many things in life, but in game, the thing that requires paper, hang on, is if we go to empty plot here, we can buy out a newspaper, which uh, the owning person uh, gets revenue for paper there. You can see we've got this globe that's going around, but also it now requires paper. So this loco, we can alter the size of the cargo and concert to pick up paper from that depot and then go there, then clear the car, and then that should be it. So we're waiting until full for this place, but not for the other two. Continue on buying people's stock because we might as well. And let's see where else we can go. So from the paper mill here, where is the nearest paper? Oh, to be fair, we could have transported it to there instead of buying it out. Oh, well. Um, is there anywhere else we can go? Yes, from here. I think we will spur off, go past here. And I was, gonna, I was hopefully going to make a nice tunnel. And there's a nice tunnel to Bozen. And there's a new speed record. With Helmuth set it, actually. It's 68 miles an hour. Well done for them. From there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. To there. And okay. Oh, we can actually, if we wanted to, edit that on the way back. Don't bring as many people, but bring some food. Because why not? Good. Um, continue on buying stock. Bismarck is my main priority, although at any stage, really, it's best to buy the stock out because it's just cheaper at this stage. I'll be honest, I can already see the writing on the wall here. <laughs> there is really not a huge, a huge opponent. We are making so much money. There you go. McCoy's lubricator pinned. Half's maintenance cost on all trains. Well, it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? See, they're all putting their bids in. And we don't blame them. And that's ours. There's our electrification going quite well. That looks nice too. I like the terminals. See the, see the car company over there. Got four cars, it says, remaining. There's all the... Look at that, all electrified. Nice. Um, right, 
So, Bismarck, I don't know where you are. Oh, you're up there. Okay. Bye. Liquidate. Gone. Gone. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Double track then, from here. And we can actually see where their old lines were. We're going to use that. We're going to use that. No point in putting our own grade down. Just use their own. <laughs> their old one. And we're going to go from there. One, two, three, four, five. Just back and forward. Why not? Get that upgraded to a station, then a terminal. Which I think is something I forgot to do down... Where was it? Here? Oh, bad steel stings local steel industry. Shame. Let's get a terminal on that. That's already done. That doesn't need to be upgraded. This one does. Station, then terminal. And touring over there. Well, we might as well double track and go across. Uh, to be fair, I don't think we need to double track, but we may as well. Passengers and mail. And that's a no grade, very big tunnel. This is like the opposite of the previous challenge. You know, we had no tunnels and no bridges. We've got a lot of bridges and certainly a lot of tunnels. We also have so much money that this is pretty much game over. <laughs> Um, we own so much stock. This is a brewery over here. This is Nicholas II. I don't even particularly want it, but we have the money to buy to to put a cheeky bid in, and we're going to win it. I mean, it's costing us a lot of money, but we might as well. So we now own, admittedly. Only 70% of our own stock. Oh, there's a new loco. That looks to be diesel to me. The V200B-B. Yeah. Nice, though. What's the date? 1952. So we own 70% of our stock. However, Helmuth only owns 20%. We own the remaining 80. And the same for Nicholas II. And Bismarck, he's gone. He's out of sight, out of mind. So, yeah, that's a thing. There is a wood, there's a lumber mill up there. In order to bring that lumber to here, it would require a serious amount of routing. Well, would be rude not to, wouldn't it, really? Up to the top. <laughs> up to here. Up to here. And then down the bottom, like so. Place that. Go there. Wait until full. Change that. Go over there. Clear. Let's just take a look at the monstrosity we've created. So, it goes up this, an extreme grade that no local would be able to even go and get done. Through here, I love... I mean, if this is a freight line, obviously, but that would be a lovely thing to go across. A huge, you know, monumental construct there. A huge feat of engineering. Going all through this, over these mountains. Obviously, see all the cities and... Oh, there, there we go. Look at that. All the cars on the back. <laughs> I like that. With all of the locos coming in. Filling it up. Nice. Anyway, back here. It's this huge viaduct. And then another the mountain. Another huge viaduct going right down into here. Wow. Anyway... Uh, Helmuth or Nicholas? Nicholas. Liquidate. And they're gone. And that gives us enough money to frankly just sit on max speed. And it's not going to take long before we can buy out Helmuth. And I didn't expect it, but this has been... One of the easiest challenges we've ever done. Admittedly, we did have a nice starting location. It was the food industry that did it. Taking, basically having both of these, both of these stockyards, buying those out and having the two pig pens, or the, the, the swine farms. That's a large swine farm. And so, and that's a medium one. But having both of those right there, 
with nobody else around really did it for us. We give ourselves the challenge of only using electric locomotives. That was completed. To be fair, it wasn't even... It wasn't really even any sort of downside. I mean, it just... The, the electric locomotives are great. They, they, just, they have great power to weight. They, I mean, okay, good good around chicanes apparently as well. Uh, but yeah, they have... They hardly ever slow down. They, you know, they're 40 miles an hour pretty much all day, all night. No problem. Any grade. Any, any cargo practically. And then obviously the new one. Fair enough. If we did say... Uh, Great Britain, we'd only have access to one, which was in 1906. Similar for America, and I think France has two. But I'm up for attempting those again. I'm up for attempting those and trying this challenge again on that one. But I don't think there'd be much of a difference. Either way, we have managed to win with a very, very comfortable margin. I don't even know what our victory conditions are. Build a better Germany by connecting Berlin, Frankfurt, Munich, and Cologne, and modernize German industry by building or purchasing steel mills in Frankfurt and Munich and deliver 50 carloads of automobiles to any destination. We've almost completed that. We only need three more three more cars and then we'll get that done. But there's no other competition. You only go to that victory screen when you get to the end of the game and there's still other, other companies there. So basically, that's us. That is a win and a fairly comfortable one of that. Has been a... From the outset, an interesting challenge, but I don't think a difficult one. Not that that's uh, something that's necessary, it being difficult and hard to play. As long as it's been enjoyable and fun and interesting, then that's all I'm really concerned about. And we've probably <laughs> used up the half of the world supply of girders. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it. And if nothing else, be a nice little relaxing look at railroads. If you want to see more, let me know. And if you have any suggestions for challenges, then by all means, pop them in the comments. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.